Hi everyone! Today I'm gonna be showing you my April bullet journal setup. For this month, I decided to do my own cover page, which was inspired by this sticker sheet that I made entitled English Breakfast. I'm pretty proud and excited to show this to you guys. I loved how it turned out. The color palette as well as the rabbits reminded me of Alice in Wonderland, which sparked this image of the writer Lewis Carroll rowing a boat and telling the tale of this whimsical story to three little girls whom Alice is actually based on, um, if rumors can be believed. I drew a lot of inspiration from this artwork by Shin Li. And for the color palette, I wanted to keep it light and vibrant, making the water pink instead of the usual blue to lend some fantastical tone to the piece. I also included some elements from the sticker sheet into the illustration like the hat on the girl and the bread in the pocket of Lewis Carroll as well as the jam and rose that are beside the little girl with the tight curls. And now that we're done with the illustration, it's time to print and cut it to size. As with all my pieces, I don't really love it, but I don't really hate it either. But I have uploaded this piece in my coffee page, so if you want to download that, you can head over to the description below. Before we set up April though, I wanted to take a look at March and how that went. Just like February, March was kind of a tough month for me. There was a lot of doubts and fears in my head as I tried new things, hence the mantra of overcoming disbelief. The comical face of O'Connell was truly what I turned to in times of distress. <laughs> For my monthly overview in March, I tried this calendar layout and decided to have a bit of fun with it. I saw this method from Hey Planner Girl on Instagram where she would write down one word that described her mood, an emoji kind of corresponding to that. Then below that was kind of a summary of what happened in the day, reasons why she might have felt that way. The project's dashboard didn't really work for me. I had a few things planned but found that they weren't exactly what I wanted as I moved along the month and ended up crossing it out. I have been walking pre pretty regularly at night and have been making some progress towards some of my projects, which I'm pretty happy about. The weekly breakdown didn't work because this was based off of um, the project's dashboard on my monthly. So what I did was cover it up with a scrap piece of paper and write down new goals for each week. No biggie. It happens. Flipping over, I tried this vertical layout and it had worked pretty well for me. There were a lot of sections to it which I enjoyed. I had a space below to write down highlights of the day and some of the things I'm grateful for at top. Then you can also do this full Dutch door which I got from Plant Based Bride to see all the weekly tasks on the left hand sidebar. And right now, I just wanted to show off this washi tape set that I made. I was really, really inspired by the mummy movie and the hieroglyphics. And it kind of reminded me of this raven painting that I made, which kind of turned into this whole sticker sheet. As you can see, there's the book of life and um, the key to it, which was really inspired fully by the movie and yeah I'm just I'm pretty proud of what I was able to do and super excited that I get to show it off to you guys. 
My last weekly, I implemented this time tracker that I also saw from Hey Planner Girl, which kind of used different ways of drawing lines with the same pen um, to indicate different activities that you do throughout the day. And that was the last spread of my March bullet journal. Now let's get into April. This is a new notebook and if you want to see how I set up the second quarter, I'll link it up in the cards and down below. But right now, we are just gluing in this illustration that we made. As you well know, I try not to um, spend that much time decorating my spreads. so. Here I am stamping in the calendar on the upper right corner of the cover page and writing in April with my Fudenosuke or Fudenosuke brush pen. Kayla Castro asked in the previous video how the Hiraya journal performed with regards to feathering. This notebook's paper quality is pretty similar and as you can see, there's minimal to no feathering. So I hope you found that helpful. I felt like the spread was lacking something so I stamped in this clover and called it done. For this month's overview, I went back to my vertical calendar layout. I think that the point of bullet journaling is for us to summarize in writing how our days went and the events that happened throughout the day. And I found that I couldn't efficiently do that with a box type calendar. So I had a light bulb moment of why this vertical calendar is still the king for bullet journaling. And that's because you can write more using it. While I primarily use my bullet journal for kind of mindfulness practice i have noticed that my productivity has seriously dropped off as i adjust to freelance life so aside from walking and skincare i want to add reading as a good habit as well as sleeping and waking up earlier in the day on the right hand page, I am simply stamping in the header intent and listing down tasks and projects that I intend to do per week. As mentioned before, the Alistair method was a bit too flexible for me to kind of manage because it allowed me to add an endless list of tasks and projects that I could do in a month and there really wasn't any urgency to schedule it in to a specific date. Having this week by week um, priorities I think helps to make me commit to the tasks that I have listed down for this month and I am hoping that it would lessen the decision fatigue that my brain has to deal with every time I make a weekly spread. For decorations, I wanted to put in a rabbit but the rabbit snap that I had was facing the wrong direction so I decided to use my sticker instead and use some floral stamps to complete the decorative spot that I have at the lower right of the page. Flipping over, we have my goals tracker and this was kept pretty simple and similar to the one in March. I also stuck in there the teacup and biscuits from the sticker sheets to give the spread a pop of color. Then proceeded to write in the goals header using my Fudenosuke brush pen. This spread really helps me visualize the progress that I have made towards my goals and it celebrates the small wins that I am accomplishing each day. 
As explained before, I write down the initials of the projects that I want to work on for this month. Just like a habit tracker, I am gonna put a cross for every day that I do something that moves me forward with those goals and on the left hand you see me writing down the vertical calendar that indicates each day since i didn't really see the need for a weekly breakdown i just left the right hit right, right hand page blank left the right ain't that an oxymoron <laughs> anyway we are down to the last couple of pages as you can see, I am stamping in the word reflections. I found that I have missed my weekly reflections during my March setup because I was very limited with my page um, numbers. But this time around, I wanted to make sure that I go back to the practice. So I'm putting it at the start of my weeklies. And next to that is my task list for the week. I have basically just copied the projects from the monthly overview and further broke it down to smaller actionable steps. I wanted to refine this time audit system more so I decided to stick with this vertical layout a bit more for April. On the left sidebar, I wrote down vertically the hours of the day and then horizontally initials of each day. Then proceeded to stamp in the dailies before I went in with my washi tapes. To make sure that it was the exact size that I needed, I just put it below each header and used my X-Acto knife to cut it down to size. Then also made this gold accent line to tie it all together. I unfortunately didn't have the foresight to print out two sheets for this, so I had to use the pink one for the next page. It ended up looking pretty cute so I don't really regret it um, but I had to use a pink highlighter instead of the yellow gold pen that I had to draw in the lines instead. Then for the next couple of pages I just stuck in randomly the rest of the stickers. I thought that it would be a fun creative challenge for me to work around them throughout the, the weeks. Um, so we'll just see how that turns out. And that is it for this month's April bullet journal setup. I hope that you enjoyed the painting process as well as the planning process. I have put up some digital download copies of these sticker sheets on my Etsy store, Donna Makes Art. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll leave the links down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and for your continued support. Like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!